Community colleges in many areas are to be a cheaper option for a path into secondary education. CUC student housing project that was meant to help low-income students that would be built in Lot 6 is now no longer. Earlier this month, the college's board of trustees announced their decision to return $62 million to the state. That money was originally intended to build housing for full-time low-income students. Remember, we were given the grant for a grant we had been uh, written in 2021. Lots changed since 2021, especially construction prices. So the cost of building the facility now would exceed the $61.8 million that they had given us. At a board meeting, Jerry Danielson discussed the decision behind returning the funds. If a student isn't full-time anymore, they would have had to have been full-time. If they're not full-time anymore, how do we deal with that? Maintenance issues like plumbing and electricity, all that kind of stuff plays into it. It was, way more, it was going to be way more money than you saw on paper. While COC shared their reasons for returning the funds, COC's foundation members expressed frustration with the decision. We have over 500 homeless students that go to College of the Canyons. That would have served 200 per year. We need to start now putting our money where our mouth is. We'll never see the 62 million. It's gone. The plane has left the terminal. COC is looking for alternative solutions to help homeless students. So we are just restarting. Uh, years ago, we had our homelessness task force. We've decided we want to bring it back, and we're calling it affordable student housing. And we're going to focus on what can we do for our students for housing? What are those objectives that our students want us to do? And so I've thrown out some of the ideas that we already have, but we want to hear from the campus community as a whole. What's out there that we haven't even thought of? And so we definitely want everybody's voice there.